What's up everybody? Just wanted to share a little video uh, about a recent uh, dyno experience that I had with my truck. I've got a 2008 GMC Sierra uh, with just 5.3 stock long block uh, that I put a 70 millimeter on three turbo kit on. Uh, I'll show you the results of the dyno pulls that we did last weekend. Um, so we got a Got it on, got it strapped down. I did an initial pull. I think it was at around 14 PSI. Uh, here is the readout. You can see here we had 472.9. I think that's a 9. Yep, that's a 9. 472.9 horsepower at just under 5,500 RPM. Um, so, what I really want to point out is the difference that a catalytic converter makes. So I had a catalytic converter in the system because I wanted it to be legal. I was also curious as to uh, what it was doing to hold back the engine. Uh, so the next pull after the 472 one I just showed you, uh, we pulled off the catalytic converter. So we ran an open exhaust so now there's no cat and there's no muffler. Um, we changed nothing else. Well, we just went from a complete exhaust to just open. So basically pulled the cat out of of the equation and here is the result um, if you look at that number right there oh, let's get the rpm in there 518 horsepower uh, at the same rpm there it is still doing some tune you can see the little hiccups there but that's not the point the point is the catalytic converter in the system was um, sucking off about 50 horsepower and the second pull was at just over 17 psi so about a 3 psi difference um, so the next time your know-it-all friend tries to tell you that a uh, catalytic converter or a muffler or so, whatever obstruction that is in your exhaust does not affect the horsepower rating, uh, you can show them this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.